During the depths of the civil rights movement, the late Reverend Leon Sullivan, pastor of the largest black church in Philadelphia at the time, successfully brokered deals with some of the largest corporations in America to hire residents out of his organization's training program, thus providing a direct pipeline to economic opportunity. The residents benefited through direct economic and financial stability, and the corporations gained a steady workforce that reflected the community, along with respect and loyal customer base. Reverend Sullivan then went on to become the first Black person to join the board of General Motors, which of course is headquartered right here in Detroit. The late Earl Graves, founder of the Black Enterprise Magazine, initiated a similar model, successfully brokering corporate deals among Black contractors. Black politicians have likewise served as middlemen in the corporate job pipeline, pipeline, such as late Atlanta Mayor Maynard Jackson and Detroit's own late Congressman John Conyers. Without these efforts, many of the Blacks who have been able to cut through the corporate walls of exclusivity have been able to amass private fortunes, proving that this model is successful. Now we must repeat it and scale it to the masses. Finally, we must empower our communities to assure them that the, reality, the realities of today are not the realities of eternity. If we do nothing, nothing will happen. If we do something, something can happen. I mentioned the late Reverend Leon Sullivan and the late Earl Graves. Both of these gentlemen wrote books on their successes for us to pick up in our generation and follow one of which is seen directly behind me, Build Brother Build by Reverend Sullivan. I'm particularly keen on empowering and community because so many of the messages that have been fed to us throughout the centuries have been negative, soul destroying and disempowering. Our mainstream media has no intention to reverse this message because doing so does not serve its interests or that of the status quo that has thrived on enforcing purposeful ignorance. We see right here in Detroit how the mainstream media hops in to cover the latest crime or latest business deal, but provides no context as to why crime is on the rise or whether that latest deal will actually be beneficial to the city for all of its residents, not just some. This lack of critical analysis is dangerous and intentional. Fortunately, at the Pulse Institute, we have the most authentic and critical Black voice in the media in Bangalore Thompson. It is said biblically that a prophet is without honor, save for in his own land. Bankley's voice represents what is missing in media outlets nationwide, and we are grateful to work with him in his unique and vital mission. Because the narratives, the messages, the stories put out there are tailored and crafted not to ask the tough questions or to provide useful solutions. Therefore, we must provide this missing ingredient in order to restore the knowledge reservoir missing in the Black community specifically to begin to heal the old wounds of false and for inferiority and forceful ignorance and build a stronger foundation for progress and improvement. Honestly, my entire message would be empty without pointing to this crucial and eternal solution.